Welcome back. Now, no matter what the weather's like, it's hard to beat a bit of Mexican food to spice up your Sunday lunch and the absolutely never disappointing Shane Riggers <laughs> from Riggers D8 <laughs> is here with a staple of that cuisine, fish tacos. Yes. Right, this is Claire's number one go-to, so one go -to. no pressure, son. Yeah, OK. Uh, I've, I've, never made made them. I've never made them. Have you not? No, I'm never surprised. made them. surprised. I thought you would have... Yeah, no, I... I be a regular. Right up my street, but I've yeah. never cooked them. Um, don't cook enough fish. Yeah. Simple to make? Yeah, very, very simple. So, as I was right. saying to you there before, there's loads of, like, looks like there's loads of components, but it's just an assembly job. And I've just chopped everything first just to make it easy and quick, right? So, um, so we're going to dredge the fish. So it's, it's hake cut into goujon. So, say, one smallish piece of hake per person is loads. Um, you cut it into just three, three goujons. So bite sizes are long strips? No, so, like, long strips like ah, that. Gotcha. Okay, okay, so yeah. just lengthways, cut it down against the... Um, the grain of, yes. the, of the flake, um, so that it does not fall apart. And then a really quick dredge, um, which is just some flour, and I put a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of uh, cumin powder, and smoked paprika, and then season nice. it with salt and pepper. Okay? okay. So that's your dredge, and you have one there. And then we'll make a salsa, and we'll do some avocado, and we'll make a spicy, a slight. I made yours not so spicy because I know you're not mad on the spice, but a kind of a spicy sauce to go with it with mayonnaise and yogurt. So okay. loads of little components, but really, really quick. So, and in terms of cooking the fish, you're going to deep fry them? So, so on the recipe I put, so I'm going to deep fry it because I have these loads of these handy little bits around the kitchen. But um, if you're doing it, you can absolutely do it in a nonstick frying no problem, pan, yeah. but just you'll need to lash a load of oil in. So you're yeah. kind of almost deep frying it in a frying pan. Right. So be careful, fill it up about halfway, like not the same oil that you'd fry an egg with. Do you know, like a good yeah, bit of oil yeah. and then cook it on one side and just flip it over with the tongs or whatever, fish slice, gotcha. and that's it. And then I have some tortillas, which I've just warmed in the oven. Okay. So these are, so you can use any tortilla you want. So tacos, people think of like, you know, like a taco shell. Yeah. Like that, I don't like them, because they're like crunchy and hard, and all and the stuff falls bits. out of them, and they yeah. go to bits, and you just bite into it. Um, so you like one that you can wrap around. So you can kind of wrap food. it, right? So you kind of toast them slightly, so they give, but you don't need any like to sh shape on them. Like if you want it to be all technical, you could hang them over like a, a rolling pin and they'd actually get yeah, a bit of shape, yeah, yeah. but you don't need that. So you just want to do it in the middle. Like so. Like so, and then plate everything up. So right. what I'm going to do, so I'll get my fish on, right? So okay. if you have a deep fat fryer and you want to use that, that's brilliant, because um, it is really, really handy. So I have a few bits of fish in there. So you just basically just dredge it in the, in the, in the dry mix, okay? So, so you can see that the flour is kind of red from the smoked paprika. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you're doing it in a pan or you're doing it, or you could do it in a saucepan filled with oil, or whatever. Um, do you remember these nice. really went out of fashion? Because everyone had them, yeah, yeah. and the smell of the kitchen and everything yeah, was covered yeah. in the manky. Yeah. But then, they're kind of handy now. Just don't have it out on the counter yeah, yeah. cooking every day. Yeah, yeah. So you just dip your fish in. So you can, I don't know if you can see that on the top. So just very... Yeah, we can. Very, um, very carefully, just on the top of your oil. Same thing if you were doing it in a frying pan. Just let it tip, and then fall. Okay. okay? And then just let the tip fall in. Okay? And, and what temperature would that oil be at? That'll be at like about 190. Okay, so like, but you know, you'd want it almost smoking in your pan. Oh, right. You know, okay. you had a thermometer, obviously, yeah, you yeah, do yeah. that. But you want it to And how long are you going to cook them for, Chef? They'll cook it for about, they'll take about three minutes to cook. Great. Nice really, really, simple. really quick, right? And an interesting dredge, because I, I, when you say dredge, automatically I think of egg wash and breadcrumbs and all that. Yeah, so if you're doing like a dredge, say like you're making like chicken fillet goujons or, yeah, yeah. or you can do that with fish or anything like that, and you'd have your egg, your flour, your breadcrumbs. But this is just, it's much quicker. We don't want like a lot of breading on okay. them, because you have your taco. Just a little coating. Just a little coating. Okay. Yeah, and holds the fish together then. And you're pun punching more flavour into that fish. And you're well. getting flavour into the fish yeah. with the paprika, the garlic. So I have um, a couple of um, tablespoons of mayonnaise and Greek yogurt, okay? okay? And then I'm just going to put a little bit of one teaspoon of um, chipotle um, paste, yeah. okay? So you can use any chilli paste you want. If you don't have chilli paste, um, buy some. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, you don't have to just buy it. You just buy it. Or you can um, just put like some. Like sweet chili sauce, anything yeah. you have, or even just some fresh chili, okay. or chili flakes, right? Okay. So whisk that up. That immediately turns that lovely kind of ready colour. Okay. So the mayonnaise is like kind of tart, or is kind of savoury, and then the yogurt is a bit tart. So it kind of gives it a nice balance. Okay. But again, you can use just one or the other. If you don't want mayonnaise, just use yogurt. If you don't want yogurt, just use mayonnaise. And they're yeah. also going to temper down the heat in that exactly. chili paste. Yeah. Yeah. So we just put a bit of that in the middle. Okay. Okay. Now. What you would do then is you'd have your fish cooked, you'd put it on and you do the rest, but I'm going to do it backwards because I'm waiting for the fish to cook, right? Okay. So we'll make our salsa. So I have some um, chopped and de-seeded tomato, and then I have some red onion, mm -hmm. um, and then I have some sweet corn and some pineapple, both tinned because you don't need to be 
cup in sweet corn or anything like yeah. that, just drained yeah. off and just chopped <clears> up, okay? So put some of that in. Now, you don't have to do this. You can make a traditional salsa just with onion, tomato, and then your flavorings. Mm -hmm. But um, I think this just gives a nice little bite and a bit of sweetness into it, some coriander. And then I'm gonna squeeze some lime juice in. So just get, like say, the juice of about a good half a lime. I'd roll them, they were kind of a little bit hard, so I'm gonna put another little bit in. Sometimes, you know, when you get limes, they're yes. pretty hard. So yeah, yeah. Give them a bit, of, a bit of a roll. Do you know, I was watching so, a chef the other night on the telly, I can't remember who it was, but they showed a trick about, <clears throat> excuse me, about getting juice out of a lemon or a lime. Mm. And they got the whole lemon, and they just stuck a skewer into it. And, and then you just squeeze the yeah, whole yeah, lemon, yeah. and it comes out like, like it's a sauce bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very clever, but none of the pips and all that. Yeah. Um, if you want to do that, put a skewer in it just to get a little bit of a like a hole in it, and That's then you can right. just microwave it just for 20 seconds or so. Right. It just Jesus. releases the oil, but like, be very careful because it will explode in about a minute all, right, all, all right. over the microwave. Okay. Um, Forget so everything I just said. Yeah, so that's, <laughs> so that's your salsa. There you go, that's um, the salsa done. So that's your salsa done. Right, now, okay. because I have the salsa and it's very flavoursome, um, I didn't want to make guacamole. Guacamole is beautiful on it as well, but I just have some chopped avocado because you can't really have tacos without yes. guac or avocado. So I've just chopped and seasoned some avocado. Okay. So let's see how these are going. So They've had a couple cooked. of minutes. Yeah, so they're cooked, okay? Happy so days. you just want to carefully take them out okay. and just put them on some kitchen paper or a mm -hmm. tea towel. Yeah. And just let them uh, just get the excess oil off them. Okay. okay? And then they will um, they will uh, be oily, obviously, you know, but, you, yeah. but the, uh, deep frying actually is not as oily as you think. Mm. It kind of it, it quickly cooks, this, cooks mm -hmm. your, whatever you're cooking in it, but it doesn't actually soak a lot of oil into it because it's so hot. Okay. So it just gives that nice crispy edge. So they look great. So just plate that up. Wow. Well, they're actually cooked, so I am going to be able to do it the right way around. Excellent. So three is loads, as you can see. I'm just going to throw four on. Why not? Why not? Actually, I'm just going to use my hands because I have my gloves on. So a lot of salsa. Salsa on the top, okay. Gorgeous. And then just spoon over some little chunks of avocado. And it's very, like, it's great, like, party food, obviously, and yeah. picky food, and, you know, kind of easy and, like, lovely with margaritas. And you know what, Shane, you, you hit the nail on the head, though, when you said, like, the prep is the key, isn't it? Get everything chopped up and ready in your chopped. bowls. Yeah, and even if you were, like, well, when you can have dinner parties or, yeah. you know, people over to the house. Um, in 2024. In 23,000. Um, you can just, like, have all that out on the counter. And it's actually, like, I've done this with my niece and stuff. <clears> and they love just kind of helping. It's kind of actually a bit of crack. It's no, like, pressure. You're cooking when people are over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And then for me, like, I like the spice, so I would just do another little dollop of the sauce on top. OK, I'm going to go in, Shane. So horse in there and then tiny bit of coriander just to finish it. I get the feeling I'm going to need a shower after I take a bite out of this. <laughs> Haven't I? Probably, yeah. Yeah. This is not going to be pretty, Ireland. Look away. But I'm doing it for you. I can feel him. Look, he's coming in for a close-up. Look. Here, yeah, man, here, we left. Look, 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 look. He's waiting for the shot. Like, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. <laughs> and of course, that falls everywhere. Under normal circumstances, if you're at home eating them, you'd have a second to, like, flavour it up and you'd get all the tastes and the different things. Like that, you know, you're getting it all in one go. I'm just sorting it into me. Yeah. Yeah. But over, over a minute or so, you'll, you'll get all those oh, flavors. And a little, a little squeeze of lime, then, if you want, on top. You can just do, you know, oh, like shame. a wedge of lime. That's, That's it. Flavour, flavour, flavour. So easy. Thank you, Chef. Appreciate you're very that. Welcome. Cheers. Full recipe details are, of course, up on our website. Or, as ever, Riggers D8 is open for takeaway. Check out Shane's website for more details. Thanks, Thanks Shane. Up next, she is the nanny to the stars. Sarah Hart joins us after the break with some great baby sleep advice for new parents. See you in a minute.